Now, will you have the right to remain silent? In 1966, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled people must hear this Miranda warning before a police interrogation. Yeah, but the power of two's Kim Hudson is here and explaining a new ruling by the high court. Kim? The Supreme Court, they announced that new ruling yesterday. That decision involves police interrogations. A man in California sued a sheriff's deputy. That man said he was interrogated. He asked to leave. He asked for an attorney and the deputy refused. The high court ruled that man could not sue the deputy for money. The six conservative justices ruled in favor of this opinion. The three liberal justices opposed the opinion. All right, Kim, so do police still have to read those Miranda rights? So this does not overturn Miranda. What it does is it does protect officers from civil lawsuits if they don't read the Miranda warnings. The ACLU put out a statement. They say they're worried fewer officers will honor citizens' rights if police do not have this cash consequence. And there's another ruling from last month. People who are convicted of a crime in state courts can turn to the federal system. Many of them also bring new evidence that their lawyers did not do a good job in the state courts. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled federal courts can hear those cases, but they can't look at new evidence that could prove a person's innocence. So you have a Miranda warning that may not be read in the beginning of a case. You have the missed opportunity to introduce new evidence later. This could mean more people could stay stuck in prison on wrongful mm -hmm. convictions.